but sanctify the Lord God in your hearts and be ready always to give an answer to every man that asketh you a reason of the hope that is in you with meekness and fear. 1 Peter 3, 8 through 15. Heavenly Father, you are the author and giver of life, and you tell us how to make the most of the things that you give us. Peaceful, darling. We need those words. We need to refrain you from speaking evil and deceptive words today. Keep us from evil. Put within our hearts the desire to do good, and may we pursue peace with others. We would ask, Father, that such commitments would extend beyond our private lives, but would flow outwardly and influence our communities and our nation toward goodness, righteousness, and peace. We lift up America to you in prayer that our nation will flourish under your blessing, and that we will turn from sin and be a nation that truly honors the Lord. Accomplish your work in our hearts, dear Father. Grant to us a clear understanding of your will, your purpose, and your plan for us. May your protection, guidance, and love continue to keep us. And may we have hearts filled with compassion for the weakest in our communities and forgiveness for those who wrong us. May we learn to love our enemies while we remain strong in our defenses. Teach us to seek the blessing of others as you have richly blessed us. And may the saving name of Jesus Christ be exalted and spoken to draw many to salvation. We need your wisdom as we face many complex issues in this world. We think of our enemies who pose a grave threat to because of their move to gain nuclear weapons capability. We pray that our leaders would be led to the right actions to take to halt these threats and to deal with these countries that could harm others. Help us as a nation to take appropriate steps and to know just what those steps are. We also pray for your guidance for President Biden and his advisors. We pray that he will be able to carefully weigh matters facing our nation and that he will be advised with wise counsel in discussions that will take place regarding foreign and domestic issues. Guide him and those advising him. And Father, we pray for Americans to realize that the moral, social, and political issues facing our great nation are beyond us. As we approach elections this fall, may we carefully consider the candidates and the stands that they take. We pray that we would submit ourselves to your rule over us. Humble us. Humble our leaders at every level. May we truly learn to depend upon you for all things and to acknowledge you in our national lives. We pray, Father, that you will show us mercy and bless us in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. Sabi ng Tito Roger, extension daw ng birthday niya today. O sige, extension. Gagawa natin siya ng orange juice. O ganito ang pagbabalato. Di ba madali lang siya? Kapag uh, nahiwa-hiwa mo na segment by segment, dali na lang siyang balatan, time efficient, at hindi pa masasayang ang ating oranges. Yung mga yon masasama na yan siya, uh, isa separate siya ng juicer. Kaya, yan ang ating um, style. So, gawa pa tayo ng isa, mamaya pagsasamasamahin natin siya dito. Uh, aalisin natin to lalagay natin dun sa loob para gawin siyang hindi ako pumasok kahapon nagpokasyon ako kasi nga kahapon ng birthday ng Tito Roig October 15 so yan ang napakagandang araw para sa akin syempre, bigyan natin siya ng special na araw nagluto ako ng spaghetti, ang sarap bibigyan ko yung carpool ko bukas tapos gumawa, bumili lang kami ng key lime pie um, ayaw kong gumawa ng cake kasi walang gamit. <laughs> walang mga ingredients. Bumibili lang ako. Sina Paggagawa ako ng cake, sinasadya ako yung pagbili ng ingredients. Kakatapos lang ng prayer for the nation. And I'm happy that you joined with me. Medyo maingay lamang kasi inaasikaso ko yung cellphone. And naghahanap ako ng perfect uh, place para pag uh, nagawa ako nito... Uh, kinunan ko ng video itong paggawa ng juice eh okay na so ang ipinapakita ko sa inyo ngayon uunahin muna nating balata ng ating oranges so to do that kailangan tanggalin natin yung mga dulo kung tutuusin medyo sayang yan siguro pipigayin ko yan mamaya sayang din naman ipunin ko sila kasi the idea is 
uh, nabalatan na siya bago natin siya gawing juice. So, panoorin muna natin kung paano ang pagbabalat. Malaking kutsilyo yung gamit ko. <laughs> Dati hindi ko yung ginagamit eh. Kailan ko lang inumpisahang gamitin. Convenient pala. Basta maingat ka lang. Umiyay, fast forward ko to. Hindi muna ako mag nanarate. Kasi fast forward ko to. Para mas um, maiksi ang kwento. Um, importante lang ay kung paano natin uh, babalatan itong ating oranges para mailagay siya dun sa ating juicer. Hinihiwa-hiwa ko siya segment by segment para mamaya madali na siyang balatan. Kaya kung mapapansin nyo, ginagawan ko siya ng ganito. Segment by segment tawag ko dyan. Para madali siyang balatan mamaya. Ayan. Uh, na balatan ko na siya ng gusto so ilalagay ko na siya dito para ito pwede na siguro natin ilagay ng buo wala naman siyang buto ang kagandahan lang nito, wala siyang buto so ilalagay ko siya ng buo ganyan tapos um, ito babalatan ko pa rin para ready ready na mamaya ilagay siya dyan, dyan sa taas, sa tuktok so ayan, nakompleto na nabalatan na lahat atin ang paaanda rin itong ating juicer. So, hahanapin ko muna yung tatapatan ko nito. Kasi kailangan itapat natin siya. Ayun, nakita ko na. Ayan. Tatapatan natin yan. Tapos, paanda rin na natin. Number one lang. Okay. Um, sandali. Ayan, nakaredy na. Paanda rin ko siya. Number one lang. Ito, ano na siya, nakaredy na rin siya. Tumigil na yung kanyang sound. Ganyan lang kasimple. Itinurn off ko na. So, meron na tayong juice. Siyempre, ang kasunod niyan, hugasan natin ang ating mga pinagamitan. Uh, itong ating... 